Welcome back to Cooking Healthy with Alana Dynamite. I'm your host. Let's get into today's recipe. Today we're gonna do gluten-free, dairy-free brownies. So I'm gonna get into the ingredients that we're going to use. We're gonna use two eggs. We're gonna use Himalayan pink salt. I have my good old trusty Bob Red Mills all-purpose gluten-free flour that we're gonna use. Um, cacao powder. We have a bag of dark chocolate. Ooh, dairy-free. We have olive oil. I know it sounds weird, but it's delicious, okay? I've made many brownies in my life and a good ingredient. Gonna use coconut oil to grease our pan that we're gonna bake the brownies in. I have a half cup already of, um, of walnuts and pecans that we're gonna put in the brownies. I have vanilla extract, yum. Um, and then our baking powder. So before we put all the yummy ingredients in this gorgeous metal bowl, oh, by the way guys, random thought. Do you guys like my new boots? Got them today. Breaking them in, so that's why we're wearing them in this week's episode. So we want to get the oven going while we mix all the things. So you want to do 325. Okay, boom, baby. Preheating, getting ready for us to go. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna have our bowl here. So first what we're going to do, we're gonna do three-fourths cup of the all-purpose flour. Ooh. So that's in there, we got that ready to go. Um, next, we're gonna do two-third cups of cacao powder. These are gonna be ultra chocolatey. Hold your seatbelts on. These are gonna be so good. I'm already like rolling in my brain over these. Okay, next. <laughs> next we're gonna take the baking powder and we're going to do um, two tablespoons of that. I have a half of a teaspoon measurement, so I'm gonna be doing one. I love this. I love this side metal part of baking powder, guys, because you know what? It gives you your even amount of your measurement. It's great. It's like scrape off the extra. Get out of here. Okay, boom, in there, baby. Okay, so we're done with those ingredients. Next, I'm gonna come in here and do this Himalayan salt. We're gonna do one full teaspoon of that. Get out of there, clump. I don't need you. Whoop. Oh, some of it flew over here. There we go. That's okay. We caught it. It flew nowhere. Ooh. All right, guys. I'm just going to come in here with my... I'm just going to make this joke because this is still so funny to me. Spatch spoon. Spatula. But, hey, we, we're creating new words over here, you know? In the cooking world. Ooh. Look at that. Already smells good without the sugar. Oh my gosh, I forgot to grab. It's okay, we're rolling, we're going with it. It's always like you double check everything and then sometimes you still, there's no such thing as perfection. But what we're also gonna use is organic coconut sugar. Okay, we're gonna come in here and we're gonna use the same measuring spoons. We're gonna do a half a cup of this. Whoop, that's gonna go in there. And guys, what I love about this, this is not like overly sweet. It's not processed like those other sugars and it's not fake. Fake sugars are so disgusting. I don't know how people can drink diet sodas. Those are the worst. Okay, let me not get off on the tangent, but just saying, organic things. Okay, so we got that to the mixture. Gonna come back in here, gonna mix the dew. Bam, bam, bam. Okay, so next, we're gonna come in here. 
I'm gonna take our eggs, two large eggs. And if anyone wants to know, these are organic eggs. Man, eggs, by the way, guys, God, it's so expensive. I can't wait to add my own chickens. That's okay. okay. We got our two eggs in there in the batter. We're rolling, we're rolling. Next, we are going to take, I don't have my cup measurement in front of me, but that's okay. We can add things together. All right, guys, so we're gonna take our olive oil and we wanna do a full cup of that. And I know this sounds weird, but what I like about um, olive oil, it's very fruity. I know that sounds weird. Fruity and savory, but I've always been around this My husband's never complained, no one else. You really can't taste it because let's be real, the cacao and the chocolate, it's so good. But it's such a good blend. Yeah, this is pouring so slow. It's just the type of spot where it is. It's okay though, because with cooking, you sometimes don't want to go crazy and go, whoa, olive oil. But guys, reminder, I know a lot of people in cooking recipes is canola and vegetable oil and seed oils. Look, look into that. No, mm -mm. no thank you. Okay, make sure we got all that in there. Beautiful, beautiful. Next, we're gonna take our half a cup of nuts. I'm gonna just leave these whole. Some people like to crush them, but no, I like, I like my brownies chunky. <laughs> and Lucy just, yeah, anyway, my dog just ate something off the floor. Oh, thanks cameraman, thanks. All right, so next we're gonna take our dark chocolate and we're going to do, oh shoot, oh shoot. We're gonna do a cup and then I'm gonna do a little bit less than a cup. A little bit over, boom, done. Three quarters of a cup of chocolate. Oh, the oven is ready for us. That is amazing. So next we cannot forget about our vanilla over here, y'all. I'm gonna do a full tablespoon a vanilla extract. And I love this big bottle, because it's great. It's been lasting for a while. Thanks, babe, for not using all the extract at home. Love you. Okay, so we got all that going, guys. So next, I'm just gonna sit here. Don't worry, we're gonna mix everything. Don't worry, don't judge. <laughs> okay, so next I'm gonna, here, I'm just gonna use this. I'm gonna just come in here get about a tablespoon coconut oil. I like to... <sighs> that was the lid. Oh, Lucy, you're supposed to catch that. You didn't catch. That's okay. All right, I just like to oil the bottom of my pans. And I'm using a cast iron pan. You can use recommended for brownies, eight by eight pan or nine by nine pan. That is perfect. Ba -da -da. Oh, look at that. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Oh, I got extra. Here, Lucy. Can you take that? Girl. Coconut oil, great for animals. Okay. Gonna wash the hands for a second. All right, guys, next we are going to blend all of these yumminess together. Dude, look at that rich chalk. Oh my gosh. Woo! Yeah, it's kind of cool. Thank you for everyone who responded to my Instagram poll. Wasn't a lot of people responding, but it was like, have to do what you want and like dessert. So I just was like, you know what? Let's do some brownies. I was actually craving them. So, I haven't, it's been a while since I've made some. So you guys can either use a mixer or you can hand mix it. I just sometimes like the hand mix things and with brownies, it's not, you know, it's not, it's not cumbersome for me to mix it. Cause plus I don't want to mix it for too long. 
Oh my god, this smells so good! Oh guys, remember, do not give your dogs chocolate or brownies. They cannot have it. It's toxic to them, so remember that. The more you know, doo -doo. <laughs> No, this isn't a vet show, but it just, it's funny. It's funny because I'm in the field and I love animals, so. All right, guys. Ooh, so that is nice and blended. Oof. Wish you guys could smell this, man. Wish that technology existed, that'd be cool. Okay, so next. Whoa, we're gonna come in here. We're gonna put our batter in here. Just using my spatula to just press it down. Try to make it even. It's brownie time. It's brownie time. All right. All right, guys. Aww. All right. Oh no, don't. Don't get the chocolate outside. Oh. All right. Beautiful. All right, guys. So this is what it looks like before we get in the oven. So I'm going to put this in the oven. So I'm going to see you guys in 45 minutes because that's how long it's going to take it to bake. See you guys soon. Brownies. Brownies, 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 brownies. Okay. Have fun baking. All right, gonna set my timer. All right, see you guys soon. All right, guys, the brownies are almost done. We got 29 seconds, so let's oven it, glove up. Thanks, mom-in-law. I love these. These are great. These are my new oven mitts. Um, I always wanted to set. How do people know when I want things for cooking? It's almost like they're inside my mind. All right. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. <laughs> All right, guys, here is the final product of the brownies. Ooh, it smells so good. What I would recommend before eating and enjoying and cutting, I would wait at least about 10 minutes. That way you don't burn yourself. Cut them up in squares and share them with your family, your friends, or if you're a greedy bitch, eat them by yourself. But I figured I'd do this fun little recipe because as cheesy as it sounds, Valentine's Day is around the corner, but honestly, not. Who cares? Say when you love people when you love them. But I hope you guys enjoyed this episode today. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe below. Give me your feedback and enjoy your brownies. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Oh wait, we should try this. Probably should. Well, wait, let me bring it back. Hold on. I'm gonna put this down guys. I'm going to take one for the team and I'm going to try one. Grab. Ooh. Even better. I'm going to grab a spoon. I'm just going to come in here. Try. Oh, it's going to be hot, so I'm going to be very careful. Oh my god, this looks so good. Mmm. Good. Definitely need to like hold down. That came out great. But thanks guys for hanging out. Let me know if you guys make this recipe below and I'll see you guys on the next. See you later. I'm gonna boot, scoot, and boogie out of here. Hi guys. Welcome back to Cooking Back. <laughs> oh, okay. I have my good old trusty Rob, Bob. Oh my gosh. Bob Red Mills. Oh, Gluten-free! Okay. We're gonna boot scooey out of here. Wait, boot, no. It came out really weird. Boot scoot boogie.